Hello. Yep, my name's Tim. I am uh, an Argo maintainer, Argo workflows, and Argo Helm. Um, I have no hair. Um, this is the rest of the Argo team. Um, we all kind of split our expertise among the different Argo Helm projects. So obviously, as I'm more Argo workflows based, I, I do more Argo workflows Helm stuff than, than I do CD stuff, but we kind of overlap and we mix and match as we see fit. We should also recognize and thank all the other non-member contributors um, who help make the Argo projects what it is. Um, so, as Dan said earlier, we are the official Helm chart for Argo, uh, for Argo in general. Sorry, I'm going to say that over and over again. Um, if you're using something like Bitnami or something equally bad, stop. You know, use, use something good. Friends don't let friends use Bitnami. Um, we work slightly differently from the other Argo projects in the sense that uh, we, we basically consume what the other projects do, and so we're reactionary rather than, than forward thinking. We have to kind of wait for the projects to release before we can do our bit. So there's usually a delay in our releases versus the upstream releases. Um, we've tried really, really hard to get that delay down as short as possible, and we aim for 72 hours from release, which I think is pretty impressive for a bunch of volunteers. Um, and now, just in case there's some managers in the room, I've got some graphs to show you that. Um, so the red line is the 72-hour line that we aim for, and the graphs usually are under that. So this is Argo CD. Um, the dip below zero is me accidentally releasing Argo CD before Argo CD was released, um, which makes our numbers even better. So there you go. Um, thank you. Uh, we got. Similar news there for Argo events. We've just got better and better with our automation and our processes. So any recent Argo events releases have been well under that 72-hour mark. Similar for Argo rollouts. Um, and one more graph is Argo workflows, where we fell over ourselves with some CRD fun recently. But other than that, well under the 72-hour mark. Um, all these graphs, incidentally, were produced using Argo workflows. So if you want to know how, come and find me. Um, if you would like to contribute to Argo Helm, we'd be very happy for, to have you on the team or just helping out. Um, I'd like to think that Argo Helm is slightly less scary than some of the, the Golang-based projects, so maybe it's a nice starter project if you're not sure where to start. Uh, there's a link to our contribution guide there. You can find us in Slack. We're happy to help answer questions and all that kind of stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Katie.